What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome back to Path of Exile Fall of Arayath. Last time, we ended off trying to find Oyun and Kira in Highgate. And now we're on the descent and slowly going through. We're also getting viciously savaged by all these enemies up here that just keep casting freeze on me all the time. Yeah, chilled is the worst. Ugh. The amount of... The way it slows me down so much. It's horrid. Also, these wolves hit like trucks. Which also isn't particularly fun. Let's just try and find our way to the next area and hope that there aren't this many goddamn freezing enemies. And Was that a Wendigo? I think those are Wendigos, aren't they? Just hope there aren't as many more of them around. Because they're all incredibly unpleasant. Who are those? Vendigo. It's a Vendigo, not a Wendigo. It's got a V instead of a W. Oh, scroll of wisdom. How are we doing on scrolls? Must be full up by now. Here we are. I've been seeing hundreds of them. Not that I'm particularly complaining, I like them, but. Sometimes I'd like it if they were a tad more valuable. Although I'm not sure if I can swap them out for anything else. Like, if I can't exchange scrolls of wisdom for other upgrade materials, I don't think you can. But you can only do it for portals. Ooh, excellent, way down. Summon Stone Golem. Is this actually going to take me to a new area? It is not. But we'll get there eventually. Also, is there a portal here? There is not. Okay, I checked that at the end of the last part, I think. Or maybe at the very start of this part, I forgot already. Okay, hit you all up with that. Spread the glory that is Contagion Essence Drain. Excellent. I'm considering maybe putting Pierce on the uh, Essence Strain. Might be getting some more area of effect abilities. Hmm. We'll see. I mean, we're close to leveling up actually. And hopefully, from some of these quests, we'll actually get some passive respec points. Well, not respec, but passive points in general. Which would be very nice. That way, we can actually level ourselves up some more. I mean, we're getting one point into, uh, ooh, a Valob. We're putting one point into um, the gem socket so I can equip one of those gems I got ages ago. And we'll put one, well, then we'll work our way towards more chaos damage. And uh, maybe some more health and energy shield as well, we'll see. Hmm. I would like more health and energy shield. It would certainly help. And some more, uh, what do you call it? some more evasion rating. That would all be very nice. Would all help out in the uh, circumstances that we're in. Hmm. Yeah, because on the way forward I missed all this one which I'm supposed to get. And I think there's another one around here somewhere as well that had it. Yeah, this one's supposed to pick up all them. Didn't. And you'd want uh, 34. Not what I want. Considering I have two or three 37s in the stash just waiting to be put to good use. Those might be good, so I'll grab them because... Wait a second, were they? Evasion rating energy shield. Although the boots I've got are straight energy shields, but... If we give them quality and then a big 50% increase, although I might want movement speed on them. But I can't do that because I don't have Taurus, so it doesn't matter anyway. What do I have on these? Mana. Okay. May I put that on it then. I should be able to easily make them better than the ones I'm currently wearing. Also, going down again. Oh, the desert. Excellent. Is it a snow desert or is it an actual desert? It's an actual desert. Excellent. That means no more frost monsters. And hopefully, we might even find um, Grigor here, which would be nice. Or at least find his misbegotten corpse being eaten by vultures or sand leapers or raptors. Okay, guess there's some sort of raptors around here. That's cool. At least they're all squishy. They all seem to die fairly easily. And they don't jump at me either and dodge or stun me, which is also really nice. I mean, we've got pretty good stun resistance as well. Oh, Jesus, that hurt. What's our stun resistance at? It's like... Isn't it 75%? Or something? Also, someone just sent me a text, so... 
Hmm. I'll have to read that. But I also don't want to stop the recording. Well, tell them how far we're in away. Only five minutes. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause my recording for a second. Okay. Uh, let's just do this. Da -da -da -da. Da. Sending a text back. Live on camera. What a waste of time. <laughs> there we go. Let's bring my couple of timer. Can't my timer reset. Well, anyway, we're about five minutes in. We'll say six minutes to account for that. Uh, oh. Some actual people riding those ones. But we'll say. Um, six minutes to account for the text I just had to send. I think we're on like 5.40 or something. Ooh, mummies. So, yeah. About 24 minutes left. Also, enemies that apparently cast chaos damage. Which is wonderful. I greatly enjoy enemies that cast chaos damage. Although, I mean, our chaos isn't too bad. And it's only going to get better soon. Ooh, another map. I still haven't actually done anything with the maps. Where was that one? There it is. Now, we don't have the jewel on us, but we'll find the portal and go back and grab it up. Grab it out the stash. Also, I could probably do with swapping out my shield, but... I mean, the 20% damage, just spell damage in general from the shield I've got is pretty good. These enemies are quite powerful, actually. Oh, Jesus. I was waiting to checkpoint, thank you very much. Yeah, some enemies can really hurt, apparently. No, we'll get back there quick enough, thanks to the uh, movement speed flask. Still haven't done anything with it either, I was supposed to. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's like I can't even cast off my combo because I die before I can cast off two abilities. That's kind of painful. So that's... Oh, also, I haven't activated my... Uh, Oops, do this again. There we go. But yeah, they do 3,000 points of damage in a second. Though there was like 10 of them. So, I guess it's understandable. What are those books? Those are books and scrolls. I think someone has reused assets. It's gone and reused uh, some things from the library. I don't want there to be books and scrolls hurtling around. Watch me be wrong when there's actually like a stage carriage filled with books just around the corner. Also, I ought to keep the map as well to uh, let me easier spot the uh, waypoint. Also, the storm blades around here as well that we need to find. Wait a second. Is it called the storm blade? It is. I thought for a second it might have been called the storm ruler. And that would have been quite funny. As that would have been a. Uh, Demon Souls reference. Was the Storm Ruler in any of the ones? It was. It was in Dark Souls 3 as well. So, that would have been a nice reference. I mean, we already had a bonfire reference that I think was a Dark Souls one back at the uh, start of Act uh, 4, I want to say. There we go. So, take that because it's chromatic. Also, I'm about to head back to town to grab up the uh, the gem, so getting some stuff up to sell isn't exactly a bad thing either. Let's quickly jump back. Hey, yeah, on the map actually, you can see there's blood pouring out of the mountain. Let's sell up the stuff we've got. Uh, no. Tempting, but no keep those boots, as I said previously. Dump them in here. Yeah, sure, you can go in the special stash. Where's the gems? Which one do we want? That'd be good for us as it is, certainly. That one's not bad either. They're both very good, all things considered. Movement speed and attack speed, or mana reduction cost. I'm going to go with this one, I think. Though the other one's just as good. And then what else? Rings. 
and some gems. Uh, is that it? No, it's that one there. Okay, that's not the right tab. There we go. Excellent. Let's quickly pop that gem in. And it's movement speed and attack speed and mana regenerate. Excellent. Back we go. And then we'll focus on either more health or more damage. I'm thinking damage. Though, again, health wouldn't go amiss either. Are those any good? Those might be better than what I'm wearing. Yeah, those technically are, so I'll keep these ones. <clears throat> Put them in this dash and maybe use them later. I'm out of tea, by the way, as well. So, I've got a really weird aftertaste on my tongue and I'm not drinking any liquids. Which means my throat's going to give out in a, in a while. Still only 20 minutes to go, so... Too bad. Also, well, we've got a bunch of gems ready to level up. You know, I haven't seen uh, Old Essence Drain level up in a while, or Contagion for that matter. I suppose they are getting quite high now in terms of levels. In fact, what are their casting costs? 33. They're actually getting quite substantial. Might want to be careful. Or I might want to equip that mana reserve gem. How many scorpions are there? Good lord. But where's that essence drain? It's here. Oh my god, you come from everywhere. It currently is level 15. It's getting close, but we need 9,400,000. So, just another, how many? 700,000 to go-ish. It's not too bad. And we do have some pretty good mana regen as well. I mean, we can actually cast blight without running out so that's always nice that's yes cast contagion on the barrels I won't take them ooh doorway the oasis I'm guessing that's where we well that's to we don't actually need to go there yet do we maybe we need to go there for sin to kill one of the gods or something let's try and find the uh, storm blade first I keep wanting to call it the Storm Ruler. Also, what leveled up? No, I can't hammer. The one I don't use. Along with temporal chains. Discipline, excellent beauty of elements. Void area. Or increased area support, I should say. Won't mind getting some more area support for Contagion. Increase the area effect of the... Uh, of its radius catch my enemies at once. Mm, nothing there I don't think I want. Maybe that? No. 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 Okay. Mm. I'm starting to think my chest piece is getting a bit old. I mean, I've had it for... What? Since Act... Since Act 5, haven't I? Also, I'm guessing the boss we're looking for is somewhere around here, considering the amount of riders. Then again, this could just be a really big pack of elites. Hybrid flask. I've got a bunch of them actually, I've never used. Uh, I saw something then. I guess I didn't, I thought I saw a wand. Maybe it was that staff. What time are we on as well? We're at... Give me a second. Don't want to take my eyes off the screen just yet. We're at uh, nearly 15 minutes. My timer is about 5 or 6 minutes behind, so, you know, I'll take them because they're superior. And that saves me... Actually, no, it doesn't because they're, what, 16? Yeah, so I still have to use 4 armor shards on them anyway. I'll take that. I don't need any more of them. Come on, where's the... Uh, where's this blade we're looking for? It'll be around here somewhere. If it's on a person, that makes it distinctly harder to find, because I don't think we'll have an icon telling us that this person is carrying it. But if it's on the floor, or in a box or something, we'll have a big exclamation point above it. Mm. I'm also not liking the amount of time it's taking us to get through this place. This place is obnoxiously large once again. 
I really shouldn't risk it with those guys. Ooh. This must... Yeah, this leads to there then, I'm guessing. That's nice. Do we want to go to the Oasis and see if it has a waypoint in it? Nah, we'll ignore it like the Dread Thicket. Hey, there we go. There is an exclamation mark. That makes life easy. Now the question is, is it protected by something? Well, I mean, it could be. We'll see what pops out when I open it. Mummies. Of course it'd be mummies. Not the most scariest thing here, certainly. Never mind, I just got melted. Wow. They, did, they weren't doing that much damage a second ago. Guess we've got to find our way back there now. That was a bit of a surprise. I was like, oh, they're not too difficult. I've fought hundreds of them already. I just get absolutely beaten to death by them. Well. At least the uh, waypoint's still on the screen so I can tell where I'm going because I was going the wrong direction. Oh, Jesus. Something there is hurling lightning. Good Lord, what are you doing? Calm yourself down. Oh, scary. Also, mummies appear to be everywhere now, which is less than ideal. Also, yeah, they certainly do hurt. Let's get back around here. There we go. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I uh, looked down upon you, mummies. There we go. Yeah, these guys uh, seem a lot tougher than the other ones. Ouch. Oh, yeah, they also hit like freight trains as well. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I was trying to press three then. Yeah, those ones are substantially more damaging than the other ones. Hmm. I'm not liking this. It implies terrible things to come, because they're doing over a thousand points of damage a hit. Although I didn't activate my abilities, so never mind. But still, that's, uh, that's painful. It's not off the map so I can see what I'm doing. Maybe putting temporal chains on would be a good idea. Slow enemies down that try and get close to me. Hmm. These sand goliaths aren't very pleasant either. Lot of health on them. Also, those yeah, those tornadoes do do damage to me. I couldn't tell at first, but yeah, they do. That was uh, that were a mess. Good lord, but we did it. Damn, those guys really did hurt though. Let's get back to town and turn this quest in. Hopefully, get something nice out of it, and maybe another quest. You did it! They found it, Bataris! They found it! By the gods! Garukan's famed Stormblade. Do you know what this means, my sweet? Once we find the right collector... Oh, we can go anywhere, have anything. We will be like royalty. But the storm inside is a problem. It's too volatile in its current state. You're right. We can't trade away a weapon of such apocalyptic nature. This will require some pondering, my love. In the meantime, thank you, Exile. Take your pick of our stock. I was about to say, I don't want a picky stock, I want a passive skill point, but give, give me a skill point. I've heard much of the Marraketh legends. A truly unique cosmology of strange creatures, pagan gods, and powerful treasures. One such story talks of a magical stone dog. A Marraketh calendar, said to detail important events in the future of our world. General Adis, a war hero of the Empire, reported in his diaries of discovering a dial meeting that description at a dig site somewhere in the foothills. It appears the war hero had a secret penchant for archaeologies. But the cataclysm wiped the land clean and buried the dig site in rocks and sand. No one has been able to locate it since, nor the stone dial. Seems that with everything that's been going on of late, knowing what's due to happen in the future could be a fairly profitable ability. We know you would never have use for such a gift. It would remove all the enjoyment out of adventure for someone like you. Yet, in times such as these, our small folk could do well with a heads up if something particularly nasty were to occur. Besides, a relic like that should sit in a museum. Or our collection. Not be lost beneath the rubble where it benefits no one. If you were to track the calendar down for us, we would pay you handsomely, Exile. Yes, we are traders of antiquities, aren't we? Mm-hmm. A 
noble legionnaire. But a legionnaire, all the same. Pataris and I did our research on Adis. We needed to know as much about him and his dig site as possible. To make sure he was worth our while. The general was an eternal commander of the Highgate Legion. He ran a mining camp up here in the mountains. The bastard was the one responsible for controlling Karui, Maraketh, and Ezemite slaves, forcing them into the black bowels of rockfishes in search of gems. At least he treated them fairly and as human beings. A slave is still a slave, my sweets. For all his faults, the general appears to have been a good man for his time. It's a shame what happened to him. And even greater shame that by the sounds of things, he's come back. Yes, we'd advise steering clear of his old camp. Pity we're going there. Cool, though. Skill point's always nice. Also, I'm wondering... What should I do about the Oasis? Because I feel as though there's something that's going to happen there. Unless it's like the Dread Thicket. But we had to go to the Dread Thicket eventually anyway. Hmm. I think we'll just ignore it and deal with it when the time comes. Any good for us? It's not bad actually. It is minion though. So maybe it is not very good. At least for us. Let's give it all these. I ought to also like chop you in half. Do that. There we go. Just in case I get some more of them. Passive skill point. I would like. Hmm. What would I like? It is a good question. Because some dexterity to get down here would be good. But at the same time, some more life and energy shield wouldn't go amiss. I'm thinking maybe grab these two. I'll focus going down here for now. I do want that more damage. Yeah, everything's going up there. Not to the Oasis. Poor, poor Oasis. Well, we'll no doubt end up going there eventually. Oops. Okay, let's hit you all up. Okay, stop moving. There we go. Let's get back to the foothills. I mean, what, we're at... Uh, uh, Trying to do math in my head. 22 minutes now, aren't we? Ish. Thereabouts, I guess. Sometime like that. Well, to the foothills. Find the calendar of fortune. It's in this. Ooh. Yeah, and we have to head up there to find her, and there, well, we have to head to both anyway, so. Never mind. I'm guessing in the Oasis, Grigor's probably there, so I do want to head there at some point. After all, he is going across a desert, and this is the only desert we found. So, well, that was the only desert we found. So yeah, I'm assuming Grigor's over by the Oasis. No oh, more, more goat men. Not my idea of a fun time. Yeah, these enemies are also got a lot of health on them. I also have to do my ascendancy. I'll probably do that after these parts are all rendered out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also haven't done the Masters today either, so I need to do that. Vol's Legion! Oh, Vol's have Vol had some people up here. Also, there's all these like, disgusting cockroach bird things. Well. Just check something. Yeah, it's in this area. I need to get comfortable. There we go. What's that serpent wand? Uh, 27. Nah. Yeah. Ooh, waypoint. It's always nice when we find that immediately. Also, apparently we found the way forward immediately. To the boiling lake. That sounds fun. Sounds very fun. We're not going there just yet, though. I want to do the... Uh, or you and stuff first. Is that any good? 34. No. Ooh! Hey! Excellent! Katrina's here, which is brilliant because I need to level her up more because she's the one who does all this wand stuff and as soon as I can put extremely high levels of spell damage on my wands, the better. Let us speak of death and desire. Yes, yes. What does it you want me to do? My sculpture complains. Go this way, kill two monsters. Excellent. Oh, they're right there as well. Well, we can spread it down there and hit up all these guys. Mana. Looks 
like we can't hit them from here though, sadly. What monsters are they? Oh, they're uh, some bone rowers. More bone birds, apparently they're called. They also hit like really hard. Also, there's a camp here. Hmm. I wonder if there's anyone fancy in there. I don't think the general will be in there. Okay, bring you two back. It's not too far away. Then I'll stick my nose into that camp. Because we're just at... What are you doing? Come on. Got stuck on the corner. But we've just hit about 26 minutes. So we've got four minutes left. You're welcome. We do this. Oh my god, you're going to take so long to level up. When things get to level 5, it takes forever. Even at uh, the hideout where everything gets, what is it, like a 250% increase? Also, it appears to just vault stuff here. Which is a shame. Lots of hybrid flasks I'm seeing. Though I'm not particularly interested in them. You up. There we go. I'm glad we found her. Just like to find Haku some more because, you know, he is the hideout leader and the sooner I get him leveled up, the sooner I can invite uh, Tora and Vargan to join. I could also invite, what is he called, Leo or something? Ooh, Essence Drain level up. Oh, quick. I was only just talking about that. So 5,268 to 5,357. That's not a I felt as though the increase has certainly been bigger. Okay, can you guys stop jumping up? Every single time that I pressed to cast Essence Drain, one of the goatmen threw himself in the way. Uh, who? Boulderback. Who the hell are you? And why do I have to kill you? Not that I'm complaining about killing something, but, I mean... Why? Oh, you have the calendar. That's convenient. I guess we can go back and hand that in then. I mean, we're not that far away from the portal. Also, uh, what is it now? What's it say? And uh, dial. You look peaceful, he told his bride to be. So peaceful asleep in our wedding bed. But the phantom, she did not slumber. Uh, that wooden box about to be closed and lowered into the earth. That's unfortunate. He didn't see her sleeping. He saw her dead. I wonder if that was the guy who made the ankh. Well, let's turn this in. I'll be quiet once again and maybe, hey, maybe we'll go to the oasis now. Ah, uh, our relic hunter returns. You could make a regular go at this. How about it, hero? Leave behind your warmongering ways and work for us. No? Well, never mind. In any case... Here's that reward we promised. Well, that would kind of anticlimactic. Unless something happens when I oh, use the uh, book containing the quest. Nothing. It's a shame. Oh well. Uh, that needs to be sold, and that needs to be sold as well. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't like the way those two are acting. They're acting very suspect at the moment. But, I mean, I guess that's what happens when... You know, the place she lives, water has gone red. Mm. And seems to be producing a weird, like, skin over it. Well, let's try and head up to the, uh, what is it? To the refinery? Yeah, head to the refinery. Because that's where Oyun is. And we might as well do that while we're on the way. Oh, a, uh, a breach. It's been a while since I've seen a breach. Also, lots and lots of things to open and break. Will we have enough time to do the breach? No, because we're about to hit 30 minutes, even though my clock says otherwise. Yeah, I've just got 24 on my clock, so I think we've hit 30 minutes, so I have to end this part here now. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.